Hello everyone, it is I, Rock from Rock Plays, and today I'm doing a brand new unboxing video for you all. And today's unboxing video is going to be a new Marvel Build-A-Figure. It is the, um, the Venom Pool Build-A-Figure. This is essentially a, uh, another Venom Build-A-Figure, but this time it's Deadpool as Venom. I think this was to celebrate the new Venom movie coming out, or that was supposed to come out this year, Venom Let, Venom Let There Be Carnage. Um, I got all the character. I got all the characters now that came in the mail thanks to my dad ordering them, ordering them for me. Thank you, dad. And also, um, also, um, the the bill of figures came with uh, one figure that doesn't come with any figures like it has done in the past. Except this time it's the Venom from the first Venom movie, who looks really cool. And also, I would also like to mention that this build a figure also had a Walmart exclusive. Who also doesn't come with a piece, but I think was cool was too cool to pass up for this uh, video. It is a Spider-Man Maxim Venom Venomized Captain America. Now funny now funny enough, uh, this bull figure even without this one has has two other this I mean this bull figure has two actually two Maximum Venom characters in it that are now six inch. Um, that being a, spy, a Ghost Spider and Miles Morales. I know how much you all love uh, Maximum Venom content. Uh, so I decided to, I just wanted to let you all know that. All right, so the first one I'm going to be do uh, unboxing is just the regular Venom. I'll do the Walmart, Walmart exclusive after this, but I wanted to do I wanted to do Venom first. And here he is. He has, he has some tape behind him, but here he is. And here he is. It's Venom. From the from the first Venom movie, yeah. Like I say, he looks pretty cool. I like I like all the veins in on him, and I like his mouth. He come he comes with another head that is just smiling, and two and two other hands are fists. These hands aren't fists; they're kind of just uh, opened up. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, his articulation is pretty good. I really like his look, uh, and you can even kind of see in the you see that there's a whole bunch of little like other black veins inside inside of his inside of his skin. This figure is actually this figure is a really cool figure to get if you're wondering if you, if you should get him or not. If you're a big fan of Venom, I definitely recommend getting this figure. This is definitely one of my favorite Venom action figures now. I, I own a lot of Venom action figures. So yeah, this figure itself, while it may not come with a bill figure, is still pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad they made him, especially since like I said, I was pretty sure it was this. The little figure was made for the new Venom movie that was supposed to come out this year. So yes, I do I do recommend getting Venom. He's a very cool he has a very cool design to to him. And it looks just like how he did in the movie. At least I think he does. Okay, there we go. Just going to put him there. All right, next up, as I said, I'm going to talk about the Walmart exclusive now. After this one, I'm going to be talking about the Build a Figure. So this is actually a Maximum Venom toy. This one is, um, <coughs> excuse me, this one is, um, Maximum Venom, Venomized Captain America, which I think is pretty cool. Now, as I stated, this was a Walmart exclusive, uh, so, uh, yeah. I have talked about Maximum Venom on my channel before, but this is the first time I think we've really got, I've gotten, um, or this is the first time six inch figures have come out, uh, which I think is pretty cool. So yes, to all my Maximum Venom fans out there, um, well, here's the next toy. It's the six inch Walmart exclusive Venomized Captain America, who I think that even though this was a Walmart exclusive, he was kind of supposed to like uh, be with the uh, Venomized, um, the, ven the, ven the Venomized Deadpool build a figure, even though it comes with no piece. I guess he was just made like a promotional figure or something. I don't know. I don't know why it was made, but he's still pretty cool. And here's his shield, which looks awesome. It looks like it's get it has a nice blue color to it. It looks like it's just getting Venomized. You can't take this off, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, Venomized Captain America himself looks pretty cool. I like how he has a shield here. It looks like it's getting attacked, attacked or getting transformed. He's a very cool look to him. I like the little scales kind of on his shoulders. I think that, that's a cool, nice touch. Uh, and, um, let's see if I can get this done. There we go. Maybe I can connect it here. There we go. That's pretty cool. 
This figure overall is pretty cool. I like the Venom the uh, Venomized uh, Ca Captain America. I think he actually looks pretty cool. I do I do recommend finding him him too. If you're a big fan of Maximum Venom like I am, uh, then uh, I do I do recommend you find this figure, especially if you love the Marvel six inch figures as well. They usually come with both figures. Once again, he's a Walmart exclusive, so you might want to check your local Walmart to find him. I haven't. It, it was really hard to find. Uh, I didn't actually I didn't actually find him at Walmart. I, I found him at an old toy store selling also, that also sells new toys. So yeah, but still try and check your Walmart anyway. I, I at least heard he was a Walmart exclusive. So yeah, he might he might be there hopefully. But anyway, I do recommend getting him, especially if you're a Maximum Venom fan like me. Okay, now it's time to actually get, in, get into the build a figure. Uh, now, let's, now, I want, now, I'm actually going to start off with the uh, more of the Maximum Venom characters. Uh, and the first one I'm going to do is Miles Morales. Uh, now, I remember my first Maximum Venom video, I unboxed him with a Titan Hero figure. So now let's see if uh, how, how he looks as a 6-inch figure. Oh, yeah, by the way, this figure only came with a shield and no other accessories. But I think you all saw that. If we didn't, then yeah. So here he is. Uh, here is um here uh Miles Morales as uh or Venomized Miles Morales. Uh, um, his head sculpt is very nice, uh, and, I, and I like his hands. I like the color red and how they kind of look a lot a lot bigger or something a lot bigger, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll, he hasn't really changed all that much from the original Miles Morales, and he's uh he's unlike other, unlike the other characters, he's a bit skinny. Which is fine, but I don't know. I feel like maybe he could be a bit, bit of a bigger figure. He, he's pretty scary, which I like. Uh, I, don't, I, I always did like his design. I like all the little red veins going around his head and how it kind of goes over his shoulders. Uh, for his legs, he really only has the, uh, the, the like the monstrous feet, and that's really it. Probably could give him some more des designs, but overall, he's a very cool. But overall, he's a very cool figure. He's a bit small and a bit skinny. However, he he, is, he he definitely is worth the buy in my opinion. So yeah, he doesn't come with anything else except obviously the build a figure parts. There's nothing that comes like specifically with him. I mean, maybe it would have been cool if he came like maybe, like a, a venomized web shooter or something. That probably would have been cool. But anyway, um, here's here's venomized or yeah, ve venomized Deadpool's hands or Venom Pool, I think as they call him. Here's Venom Pool's hand hand, just one hand. It's his uh, left hand. And, and it also comes with a uh, a fist as well. Well, not really a fist. More like something he wants to hold. Like if you hold a giant monstrous sword. <laughs> so yeah. Venomized Miles Morales overall is a pretty cool. Is as I said, a bit small and skinny, but it's a really cool character to get. He comes with a left arm for a Venom Pool, and also with a little hand too for Venom Pool. Next up is the other Maximum Venom character, Ghost Spider. I believe that this was Spider Gwen now transformed into Ghost Spider. Now, just like in my first uh, Spider-Man Maximum Venom video, I I unboxed and reviewed the Titan Hero figure of, of of Ghost Spider. So now let's see if she if this holds up, if, if the character holds up a six inch. Oh, the uh, little box here that comes with her swords. I like her swords. These are really big and oh cool, they come out. Uh, oh, actually, wait a sec. I think. Oh, sorry. These are I think it's Deadpool's actually, or Venom pools. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now cool big swords. Um, I, I would like to maybe these swords were like also venomized, like maybe they had a venom symbol on them or something. But eh, it's it's a pretty cool. It's very big. Now she comes with Venom pool's body. But we're good. Uh, here it is. Here it is. Venom pool's body looks pretty cool. I like how it's kind of stitched up, like he was too big to wear it. Uh, he has little like spikes or something there. I don't know. Looks pretty cool though. I don't know where you put the. Uh... Oh, doesn't look like he actually connected to really anything. Just kind of to put it on here somehow. I'll, I'll find out at, at the end of the video. Or I'll find out when the video when the video is near over. I'm putting it, putting it together. Oh, uh, here's um, here's Ghost Spider. <laughs> Sorry. And what I like about her is that um, her kind of the end of her mask is like a big tongue, which is. Kind of gross, but also I guess kind of cool. She has like these little um, bluish, kind of like yeah, light blue, bluish greenish uh, uh, feet. Uh, um, she also has like a cool venomized jacket to her, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, 
Um, unlike Miles Morales, unlike Miles Morales, I think this character has a lot more kind of uh, looks stands out a lot more. I like her hoodie. And I like how kind of her interface. It, it, it also kind of looks like Miles Morales' mask. Uh, and this thing, I still think is pretty cool. It's just it's a big it's a big tongue. Personally, I think this one looks a bit better than this one, but still, both these are pretty cool. Overall, I, I like this character too. This one is also kind of a bit small and skinny, like the Miles Morales one, but I, I think this one's a bit better. She looks a lot more like she she would have been infected by venom, and has a cooler design. So personally, yeah, this this character is also was is worth the wait. Okay, next up, let's do. Uh, oh, next up, let, I'm, I'm gonna do um, Morbius, the Living Vampire. I I think they also, I remember they actually did him, I believe, because this year was also supposed to be a Morbius movie, but that also got pushed. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that movie though, and Venom too. Well, then I'm left to be carnage, the second movie. Now, Morbius comes with Venom's right hand. Uh, was also very big. Uh, and also, another fist to kind of hold the sword for the right hand. Uh, now, um... There's Morbius. Oh. Don't worry, his, his cape can come off. You can see he kind of goes just on the back right there. Uh. Okay, um, I like I like Morbius's look. Uh, I think he has a cool updated design. I don't know if this is how he's going to look in the movie. If it is, then he looks pretty cool. Uh, I like how his hair is kind of being pushed back a bit like there's wind blowing at him. Uh, his red eyes are very creepy and he has a very scary mouth. Uh, his, his suit is, is pretty cool. It's I guess it's not really all that special, but it's pretty cool. And he has very sharp, he has, seems to have some pretty sharp hands. Uh, Feet, nothing really there. The cape, I think, is probably the best part of him, though, other than his face. So it's very nice, kind of like uh, almost destroyed cape on the bottom with some holes in it there. But it's supposed to be there. While the top here kind of just looks like nothing happened to it. Just a bit, I think. I don't know. But anyway, he's a cool character again. I actually really like Morbius. He might actually be my favorite character out of, all, out of the whole build figure so far. That is, if we don't count Venom, which I guess, if I, if I don't count Venom, then. Um, or you know, like the the movie Venom, then this one that doesn't come with a figure, then this one is a uh, pretty cool character. So yeah, this figure was definitely a lot cooler than I thought it would be, uh, which I'm really happy about. Uh, so yeah, Morbius is very cool. I think uh, hopefully his movie will be good. Okay, next up we have two more symbiotes. Ooh, um, I, I'm gonna do Carnage next, seeing as how the seeing that the new movie was supposed to be, I think it was supposed to have Carnage in it. Yeah, that's what the title was. Okay, um, so this one actually comes with his, uh, his head. Okay. Also, by the way, I think I forgot to mention this. These two characters didn't, like, didn't come with anything, um, else that was really for them. However, this character does. He comes with another head, as you can see. That's Venom Pool's head. That's another one of his heads. Now, this Carnage I've never actually seen before. It's a new Carnage. Maybe it's what we'll, this is what will Carnage look like in the new movie. I really don't know. But he has a new look to him, which I'm happy about. I like Tarnage's old look, but I, I always like I always like it when a character can get like maybe remodeled to look scarier or cooler or something. Here he is, and here he is. He has a lot of um, veins around him, which I like the red, little black veins around his red body. Um, I, I like his very sharp uh, nails. That's something I always liked about characters like the Venom characters. They have very cool and sharp nails. I think they make them look scarier. Uh, the face is probably the most unique part. It has some symbol on his head, uh, and I kind of like how the the venom uh, kind of the face looks different too. I don't think I don't think it looks scary as the original Carnage, but uh, still pretty cool. Here's an here's another head of uh, Carnage, uh, which is really just uh, which really is it's just kind of more of Carn. I think it looks more like classic Carnage, but it looks like more like Carnage's uh, curious rather than his more scarier version here, more angrier. Carnage also comes with a uh, a backside to him. Uh, you can kind of just put it on his back right there. Uh, there you go. There we go. Looks like he has a jetpack almost, but that's pretty cool. Makes him look, actually on camera here. It definitely ma it makes him look scarier. Well, I'm holding him. It doesn't really make him look scarier, but it looks it makes him look cooler. 
This is definitely probably one of the most unique Carnage uh, versions I, I, I think I've seen before. And it looks really cool. Uh, this is the design for Carnage in the movie. I won't mind, I won't mind too much. Uh, I won't really mind at all. So yeah. Pretty cool Carnage figure. Oh yeah, and also here, here's the... Uh, Here's the, uh, here's the uh, Venom Fool head, which has a big slobbery tongue. Well, not really slobbery, more so just a tongue. I like his look. Once again, he has like the stitches, stitches around his head like his suit can't really hold him together. Uh, I like his, ma his mouth too. looks pretty creepy, uh, mainly on camera, but still, it's pretty cool. Now, the final character of the build of figure is a, a Venom I've never actually heard before called Phage. I think that's how you say his name, Phage. I don't really know who he is. The back of the box says, The Phage symbiote gives its host the ability to force incredibly dangerous blade weapons to attack its victims. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yes, man. Oh, good. He also does come with both legs, both left and right. Oh, this is pretty cool. This one's left, this one's right, uh, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, the right one is the one with the uh, more of the pack around it. The one on the left is really nothing else around it. But these are pretty cool. Phage comes with a scythe-like weapon, I think. I don't know. Let's open them up. Now, Phage looks pretty cool. He has, a, personally, the scariest head, I think, out of them all. Well, maybe except Morbius. Actually, I think it's scarier than Morbius's head. He has like little sort of saw, uh, sharp things here. Top right here is very sharp. Careful, careful that. And also this cool little back, which I think is something Morbius would wear. See so this right here. He has like Batman type weapons. I think it's kind of cool. He does. Yeah, he has all this like little black gooish or some stuff running around his body. Uh, I guess that's supposed to be more part of his symbiote design. I never heard of this character before. Did he appear in the first Venom movie? I thought there was like a glimpse of a yellow symbiote. Maybe that's this guy. I don't know. Here's his weapon. Okay, oh no, it's more like an axe. He doesn't really have hands that can actually hold it though. Uh, how is the box make it look? Okay, no, I think he's supposed to... Oh, okay, so it, go, it goes like this, and you actually have to take off one of his hands to put it in. So if I can do that, there you go. Well, it's going to kind of right there. You can see it. Uh, put it on. There we go. Now that's cool. Now that's pretty cool. I think you can put it on any hand, too. It doesn't matter. Well, that's very cool, though. I think we can keep it like that for right now and just save the other hand. Well, that's very cool. He would be a cool character to appear in a movie, I think. It looks like it looks like this is kind of like where it's kind of still developing the weapon, like it's starting to come out. Come out. Did Max and Venom try something like that too? I think. Uh, not trying to spoil anything for anybody, but I think so in the series, like the first episode. I get not spoiling it, just saying. If you haven't seen Max and Venom, yeah, you should go watch it. It's actually a fun Spider-Man series. Uh, it, just talking about like, Spider-Man Max and Venom on Disney XD or something, I believe will pop up. Uh. Well, they show it on Disney XD, so yeah, hopefully maybe they'll re-show it soon sometimes. This is pretty cool though. I like I like Phage. I think he's probably the he's definitely one of the best. He probably has the best uh, weapon right here out of any of the characters. So I really I really like his design too, like this on his back. He's definitely one of the coolest Venoms I've seen. I hope he appears in some movie or TV show or something. All right then. Okay, so um. Now that we got that, uh, now let's, um, actually, wait a sec, huh? This is the figure, right? Yeah. Okay, I, I actually, I just want to show you, this, this was Venom's, um, r regular Venom's other head. Just want to show you that. Once again, definitely, uh, looks almost as creepy as his other head, maybe even more. Definitely, it kind of looks like he's more, cu also, like, curious or something. It comes with two fists, so. Which is pretty cool, and the fists kind of look like they have veins in them too, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, now time to put together a venom pool. All right, so here's his head. Head kind of goes in there, just kind of. His head's not too big, which is pretty cool. 
I wonder if it's like the strongman build a figure. Oops, sorry. I did do the strongman build a figure, by the way. I'll leave a link in, of that video down in the description below. There you go. Wow, for a, for a big body, he really has a small head, which is kind of funny. Now let's do his arms. Here's his left. Here's his left arm. Look at both figures. It goes in there. There you go. If you hear a snap, that usually means it went in, which is good. It, it means it usually means it didn't break. I just it snapped in. There we go. That's pretty cool. Now his right arm. There we go. All right, it looks pretty big actually. Here's his right leg. There we go. Legs are a bit hard to get on. Oh, wait, no, hang on. There we go. His legs are a bit hard to get on than his arms and his head. His head was a bit difficult to get on, but pretty easy. There we go, got on, huh. Left 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 leg is very hard to get on. Here he is, Venom Pool. Alright. He looks gigantic actually. He looks like the Hulk almost. I guess Deadpool got a lot more dangerous now. If it's true that if it's true that he still has the healing factor, then that's gonna become a whole bunch more dangerous. Oops. I accidentally took his uh, actually that's good. I accidentally took his hand off. And also the little chain part. Chain part comes off too, so if you put that back on, hold hold I'm gonna hold that there. This was his right hand, yeah. Right hand. Let's see here, if I can put this on, then put this on. Oops. Uh, oh, oh, well, let's just get the other one back on. There we go. Now let's put on, sorry, I decided to put the other arm back on, it's kind of hard. Uh, let's put his weapons on. How do I put his weapons on? Does it go on the back here? Where is it? Oh, oh, there we go. I think I think I figured it out. So I think actually this part is supposed to connect. It probably would be easier if you just kind of made what the other piece is doing, just like make a little hole for it to go into. So I have to make it snap like this, but okay. I think I got it. Almost got it. He's very heavy. Gotta say, however, out of all the Build-A-Figures that really came out, this is probably one that I was the least expecting to be made into a Build-A-Figure. I never even heard of Venom Pool until now. But hang on, I'll be right back. Let's try and get this piece on. There we go. Got on. Be right on. You can't have to snap it on. It's not even fully snapped on, really. It's gotta be careful. I gotta be careful about that. But still, pretty cool. His swords can't come off. Come can come off. So it's pretty cool. It's probably one of the largest uh, accessories that uh, Build-A-Figures came with, and I really like them. So yeah, it's pretty, I gotta say, Venpool's pretty cool, uh, really apart from his head, his hands, uh, actually his head and his hands are really the only parts you can really tell he's been venomized, uh, so yeah, but he still looks pretty cool, I like the fact that he's a lot, like, he's, he's a lot bulkier than maybe someone like Miles Morales, uh, when he's venomized, uh, he's very big, and overall I'm actually glad I got this character, I was worried he wouldn't be as cool as I thought he would be, but he's actually a very cool figure, uh, Colors are a bit, col colors, uh, red and black, the red seems to be toned down a bit, which is fine, but maybe I would have liked me more of a, maybe like more dark, brighter red. I think that would make him look a bit more scary. So yeah, that's another recommendation I would give. But still, he looks pretty cool. I like his design, his little Deadpool logo on there. And he's a very cool build figure to get. If you're a big fan of Venom and a big fan of Deadpool, this is definitely a build figure for you to get. So, if you're, not, if you're not a fan of Deadpool and or a fan of Venom, I'd still say give this guy, give this, uh, give this character a, sh a shot at getting. He's pretty cool, and overall he is better than I thought he would be. So yeah, I am happy I got him. And I do recommend getting him, whether you're a Venom fan, a Deadpool fan, or a fan of both. If you're a fan of neither, then I'd say maybe just get the, your hands on some of the figures. But he is pretty cool to get. Glad to his review, I was... Glad, glad I did this review. I was eager to do this one. Now, actually, I actually have another Marvel Bullet figure that came in the mail. Uh, also, thanks to my dad. Thank you, dad. And uh, that figure is actually the Fix It Build a Figure. And, which is, yeah, is the Fix It Build a Figure. 
And that's going to be my next review. Hopefully I can do a review later this week. If not, maybe this weekend or next week. Uh, hopefully this week's. It, at the very latest, this week would be the weekend. If I can, though. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this review. Please like, subscribe, and hit no notifications bell so you never miss a new Build-A-Figure video. I do a lot more than just Marvel Build-A-Figures. You know I love doing those. Uh, and um, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you've watched the whole video or just giving this video a glance. Uh, and yeah, I recommend getting all these characters, including the Walmart exclusive and just the regular Venom. And that's going to be it for now, everyone. Bye! Oh man, it came off again.